Hi, I'm Brian Masson, and welcome to YourEarnerFan.com TV. This week's show, we're going to show you the last few weeks of gun season here in New York. Um, my dad was able to get a nice buck out of the same ground blind I took Super 8, but unfortunately, he did not hit record. Midday mission. The trail came at the hedgerow stand has not been checked in some time. In that time, I shot Super 8. My dad shot a buck out of that ground blind that we think walked or ran right in front of that camera. And, uh, yeah, since then, this tailgate's had a lot of blood on it. Two bucks and a doe. So, we're going to check. Bigger scrape right here. Camera. But yeah, he was happy with that buck. That was a nice buck. Um, you're going to see a hunt like a few days. I think it was still the first first week of gun season. I filmed my dad out of the blind. We, we saw a lot of deer. And then we're going to jump in on a couple doe hunts. All right, go ahead and say something. I meant to say something like do an interview. Not about where the cookies are. Well, we're back in the ground blind this afternoon, hoping to get a chance another buck up here. Brian killed his buck on opening day from this uh, from this ground blind, so it looks like the uh, conditions are favorable. So we're hoping we get some action here this afternoon. Dad, get on him. That's the six point. That's Motel 6. He's looking right at us. That's the six point. Should I wait? It's up to you. Uh, just slowly start moving. Is he looking? He's looking right at us. Should I wait? Slowly start moving. I would, Dad. Huh? I would slowly start moving the gun. Dad, you could put the gun. What? <sighs> okay, Dad, hurry up. Right where that buck was standing. Some dough coming out. I see him. They're looking at something too. Three, no. three or four. Four or five. Why? Hang on. One. At least four. Can't tell if there's two standing together. I think it's a doe. I think. Yep, get ready, Dad. Something's coming. We're in the ditch. Yeah. It's a doe. November 28th year, Western New York. Sitting over the corn plot where I shot my buck with the bow. So, snowing on and off. So we're hoping the storm pushes the deer to feed.
bit of blood. Second shot. There she is. Heck yeah. The first deer of gun season for me. We're on a doing a couple deer drives today and we're pushing to a buddy on my cousin's property. And this was <laughs> this is a second doe that I kind of walked up on and she's just standing there. She was heading towards a field. So really, I mean, nobody nobody kicked her up or pushed her, but, um, you know, just happened like that. Got the footage on my tact cam, which would be really cool. Um, I missed the first time, don't know what happened. I was just shooting, uh, I didn't, you know, I didn't, wasn't shooting on a shooting stick or anything, you know, just freehand, so. 150 yards or so. Just a nice mature doe. Yeah, I love them. So the, the second day of gun season took the kids out in the morning. I knew that was going to kind of be a short haunt because we had to get in the blind before light, sit there. It was going to be super cold. I knew that was only going to be an hour, hour and a half if we were lucky. Unfortunately, we didn't see any deer. So this afternoon hunt I knew that deer were going to be out there. They, I mean, the deer have been out there pretty much religiously every day, just been pounding that hillside, heading out to the Sinclairville Sea Company food plots, heading to the hedgerow stand, eating on those apples, uh, the clover field, the brassica field. So the deer have just been out on that hillside every night in numbers. I knew that the chances of getting a shot at a doe were super, super high. And in that blind where the deer had been coming out, I knew it was only going to be a 120 yard shot, maybe maybe 240 if they came halfway across the field. So I picked Ben and Paige up early from school, let them take those masks off their face and go get some fresh air, and we went deer hunting. All right, here we are. Bennett, Paige, and myself. We're back in the ground blind, hoping to get a shot at a doe tonight. Bennett's only been hunting one time, but we didn't see any deer that morning. So we're hoping that tonight's a good night. It's supposed to, there's a front coming in. It's going to be really, really windy overnight and tomorrow. So everything's set up for tonight at sundown for a lot of deer to be on their feet. So we're hoping this blind produces like it has been. And we can catch some does crossing this ditch out in front of us about 120 yards. Bennett, what do you think, buddy? Uh I think we're going to shoot a doe. You think so? Yeah. Show them, show them your binoculars. You got your binoculars, you're all ready. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Are you ready? All right, I'm ready too. Hopefully some deer come out. Deer will be coming out any minute. Just wait. Stop, stop. Bennett, don't move. It'll, it'll come down the hill more for us, probably. You will. Oh, Okay, Paige, you see it? I think it's just a little one. Bennett, you don't have to cover your ears. Bennett, do you want to see the deer? Lean forward. That's over here. It's really hard to see. Can you see its legs in the snow? Can you see it? Okay. I'm going to let you know. Okay. I don't think do we want that one. It looks pretty small. Darn it. It's probably not alone. There's probably more deer over there, so. I just want to get it though. I don't care if it's big or I know, but the problem is that one might be a button buck. I can't tell. 
We don't want to accidentally shoot a little baby buck. If it comes out in the field and goes in front of us, I'll be able to see it better. Field, guys. Okay. Can you see the one walking out? Yeah. Is it big or small? It's a big one. Just get ready. Are you watching it? Yeah. Yeah. Just tell us if you're going to shoot it if it gets closer. Just watch the deer. Okay. Watch the first one. Okay, get ready. I'm going to shoot. Okay. Check, dear. Hang on. Okay, I'm gonna shoot her, guys. I got her. Watch her. Watch her. Watch her. Watch her. She was when she was running because there were other deer. Yeah, well, that's a I different saw one. Her. I saw her. All right, she's that's a different one that was running. She's down on the ground. Okay, now here's the first thing we're gonna do. We have to wait a first thing we're gonna do. We have to wait a couple minutes because when you shoot the deer, um. And if you don't shoot it in the heart, it doesn't die straight away. So you have to wait a couple minutes for it to die. Did you see the one that I shot? Did you see her jump yeah. when I shot her? Uh-huh. Was that cool or what? Yeah. yeah. It's, but it's first time getting a deer with us. You better come sit by your sit inside your sissy lap there. Sit on sissy's lap. Put the gun down and say he's on. So, a bunch of does came out, and the first one was a real nice big doe. And we got a shot at it. Everything felt good, and I heard the impact. The recoil, obviously, I couldn't really see really good. But I'm going to watch the video real quick. And then, uh, we'll go have a look. It's, it's only 9 after 4, so Holy they're, cow. they're coming out early just like we thought. We sh I'm pretty sure we got a doe down. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm shaking because I'm falling in. I'm also shaking because I'm happy. Yeah. Can we take the gator? Well, yes, we can. Well, we're getting out of the blind. What happened? We shot a doe, yeah. She made it into the woods. So we gotta go look for her. What do you see? What? This is where she was standing when I shot her. All right, come on out, guys. There's real good blood. There's, there's super good blood. We drove the gator down from the blind so that uh, the kids didn't have to walk as far. And I'm very confident about the shot. And have you follow me, Bennett? 
excited, but you're gonna follow me. Stay out of the blood. Stay out of the blood. All right. I'm gonna show you guys something. So this is where she was standing when I hit her. See, and then she ran that way. And then she did a loop towards the woods. Stand where I can see you. You guys are gonna stay about 10 feet behind me the entire time. We're gonna walk in a straight line. Me, Bennett, Paige, okay? If he gets too close to me, you tell him to hold up a little bit. Okay, we're gonna walk in a straight line. You stay behind me and if I say plug your ears, plug your ears. So she should she should be dead not far over that fence because there's a ton of blood. She's dead. She's right up here. Come on. This, this doe is huge. Just a huge, huge doe. It's the kids out there waiting for me to drag her out. What a huge, healthy doe. Wow. That is exciting. That is a super mature animal right there. I knew there were a couple real big does up here. I've been seeing them during bow season and Really lucky to get a shot at one tonight. Are you happy, Bennett? Yeah, I am too. But here she is. Oh, oh my gosh. <gasps> Holy cow. Oh my gosh. Her head's so huge. Look at how big her head is. Holy oh cow! Oh my god! <laughs> She's a very bigger than her body. Am I on camera? Yeah. I'm on the screen? Yeah. She's a very old doe. Very big old doe. Big fat doe, just like we wanted. Yep. Yep. Alright, here we are. I was lucky enough to be able to get a doe with Paige and Bennett tonight. It was Bennett's first time with, with anybody when they got a deer, huh? <laughs> we went out the other morning, we didn't see nothing. And pretty much we're waiting for Dad to, to get a buck out of this blind because it's been the spot. And he was able to get a buck out of there the other night. And um, tomorrow's going to really warm up, a lot of rain coming, so I knew Nice calm night tonight, high winds coming in. Um, that deer would be moving tonight and coming out early. And they were, and we got one. Bennett, you got anything to say? Mm. Thumbs uh, up? What? Thumbs up? <laughs> Paige, you got anything to say? Um, I'm thankful that I, me and Bennett were with you. Well, that's, that's great. I'm very thankful for that too. And I'm also very thankful of the size of the animal yeah. There's a big old doe, and I've been seeing him out of that stand bow hunting. Big old does cross this hill right here, and 
Um, one came out tonight. I was actually getting ready to shoot the first one and saw the second one coming and she was even bigger. So we took her, super excited, super blessed. The kids were super excited. I was super excited. It's one of those things that <laughs> it's it's not easy to make happen, you know, to all be sitting together in a ground blind with two little kids and get a deer on the ground. It's not really easy. It came together that night fairly easy. And it, what a blessing it was to be able to do that with both of my children there. I'm Brian Madison with DeerHunterFan.com TV. I'll see you next time.